Hey, what is up guys, how's wrap here? And today I'm gonna give you very easy, simple settings that you can change to permanently disable all these annoying pop-up ads on your Android smartphone. Nowadays, it's plaguing our devices. These random ads just pop up out of nowhere and they can get really annoying at times. So today I'm gonna tell you a few ways to do this. I've listed out the timestamps of the video here and you can see if you wanna look at some particular solutions or everything, I suggest you go through everything so that you can permanently disable all the ads on your Android smartphone. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first thing I want you to do is go on to Chrome and then click on these three dots right here and then go on to settings and then scroll down till you find site settings. So you want to click on site settings here. And once you're here, you want to scroll down further until you see pop up and redirects and intrusive ads. So these two options are the ones that we want to disable. Sometimes web pages running in the background can randomly pop up ads on your screen. So you want to go ahead and disable this and then go back and then go to intrusive ads, click this and then disable this as well. So another setting that you want to disable that almost acts like a superpower for these ads is displaying over other apps. So you might have actually unknowingly given this permission to a lot of the apps that you've downloaded from the Play Store. So let's go ahead and disable this. So what you have to do is go onto the settings of your smartphone and then go to apps and notifications. Now where this setting lies might be different for different phones. So you can probably search in your application. So now go ahead and go to special app accesses. And then now you want to head over to display or other apps. So now you can see the list of all the applications on your phone, and then you'll be able to see which apps are actually allowed to display over other apps. Like duo is allowed to display over other apps and some other things right here. So you don't really have to go ahead and disable it for everything because some apps actually have very useful features which take use of display or other apps like picture in picture mode. So what you have to do is identify malicious applications that you probably don't remember giving this permission to or for the apps which you think it doesn't make sense to have this permission. So go ahead and disable the applications which you think are malicious and shouldn't have this permission on your smartphone. So the next thing we want to do is kind of disable ads on Google itself. So what you can do to have this option is go on to your settings again and then scroll down to Google. So once you're here, it will show you your Google account and some of the services that it offers. So go ahead and click on all services and then scroll down to ads. So once you find ads, you will be presented with these options right here. What you want to go ahead and do is delete your advertising ID. So most Google accounts or all Google accounts have an advertising ID attached to them. So if you delete this, you will get less relevant ads and less random ads on your smartphone. It will not disable everything, but it for sure will reduce the number of ads that you're getting. So you can just go ahead and delete this advertising ID and you should be done there. So there is another setting embedded within Google settings that you probably want to change. So for that, go on to from the same page, go on to your account and then click manage Google account. Once you're here, scroll down to privacy and personalization and then scroll down further and then you will see the activities that you've shared with Google. So it can track your web activity, where you travel and your YouTube history, of course. So using these parameters, Google sort of creates a persona and tries to guess your age, your relationship status, your income and stuff like that to give you a lot of personalized ads. So we want to disable this as well. So you want to scroll down further and then you will see my ad center. Click on this and once you're here, you can actually see what they've guessed for you. So this is a relatively new account. So uh, they probably don't have enough information right now. So this is what for you, if you've been using your Google account for a while, you can actually see it will be pretty accurate with the stuff that you have going on. So what you want to go ahead and do is click on on here and then just turn this thing off. So you can turn off the personalized ads on your phone and this will save a great deal of ads on your phone. So hopefully all the solutions that I've shared till now have helped you a great deal and the number of ads have reduced, but there are yet some more options that you can try. For example, you can get a private DNS for your phone. So for doing that, you can just go ahead to your settings again and then search for DNS here. And once you're here, click on private DNS. So what you want to do is go on to private DNS and then turn it on. And you can give this name dns.adguard.com and this is completely safe and you can go ahead and use this. So this should 
reduce almost everything or 99% of the ads that randomly come up on your Android smartphone. So if you're still getting ads after all of these settings as well, the last resort option, which in addition to all the settings that we've already made, should give you a relief from all these ads. What you want to do is go to Play Store and then just search for ad block. So go ahead and search for ad block right here and you can download whichever one you like. So I think the Fab and Brave ad blocking browser work great. So download one of these and enable these and probably just start browsing on this. And this should disable all the ads that you have on your Android smartphone. So yeah, guys, that is all for today. And I hope I've helped you block these annoying ads on your Android smartphone. And if it did help, please do give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends and family to help them get rid of these Android ads on their smartphones as well. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.